press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Hi everyone, in this video we are going to learn what is a 100% fresh air handling unit. In today's session, we are going to understand the properties and the physical construction requirement of an air handling unit and our technical parameters which is required to select a 100% fresh air handling unit system. The standard air handling unit is different from an 100% fresh air handling unit. So let us understand what are the fresh air handling unit design selections. The first important parameter is the physical construction requirement. And the second will be the technical requirement of the 100% fresh air handling unit. Now let us understand the physical essential requirements for a 100% fresh air handling unit. The first part of a fresh air handling unit is a supply fan, cooling coil which is DX or chilled water. It can be both DX and it can be both used for a chiller which is called a chill water coil. The third important parameter is a filters, pre-filter, brack filter and fresh air entry. Supply air fan. This is an example of a supply air fan with a front discharge. The next important thing is the cooling coil which can be either DX or a chill water coil. This is the side view and the top view of a cooling coil. As I said it can be both a direct expansion coil or a chill water coil. Next comes the filters, pre-filters and back filters. Any one of them or both can be used. The last important physical requirement is a mixing box. Here the mixing box consists of only fresh air as this is not a regular air handling unit so there will be only one fresh air entry and there will won't be any return air from the system or from the zone coming back to the air handling unit. Now let us see the combination and the assembly of a 100% fresh air handling unit. Now as you can see when you combine all these parameters the supply fan which is a fresh air fan, the cooling coil which is the DX or the chill water coil, the pre-filter, the back filter and the fresh air entrance which can be handled. This is the fresh air damper and the other side will be the supply air which is also known as the fresh air supply. So this is the standard basic assembly of a 100% fresh air handling unit. Now as I said earlier a cooling coil can be both used from an ACCU and also it can be used from a chiller. For chiller it will be requiring a water and for ACCU it requires a DX system. This is the top view of the same assembly. Now let us understand second requirement which are known as the technical requirement how to select a fresh air handling unit. Now the essential requirement for any air handling unit in order to select a proper air handling unit ambient temperature is the first important parameter which is required to select at what location and what particular zone or what particular area you are selecting it. The second parameter is total capacity, sensible capacity, the fresh air it, as it can be in any unit CF firm liter per second meter cube per hour it depending on your calculation criteria or calculation type basically. So it can be in any units. Entering coil temperature it, which means the on coil temperature, the leaving coil temperature which is the off so known as off coil temperature. Both are the essential parameters for any coil selection of a fresh air handling unit. 
and also in any regular air handling unit the coil temperatures are very essential the ambient temperature plays the important part because because you are selecting it at a direct ambient temperature and not mixing the return air the next parameter is the external static pressure which is an obvious point and the power supply whichever area or zone and depending on the capacity the power supply will depend upon it accordingly so these are the main important parameters the technical requirements now let us understand one more thing here the on coil temperature is the temperature which is the direct outside temperature or the direct ambient temperature which is used directly on the coil here it is not a mixture of a return air and the fresh air so now let us again review the following parameters ambient temperature total capacity sensible capacity fresh air entering coil temperature leaving coil temperature external static pressure and power supply so these are the essential parameters required for selection of the 100% fresh air handling unit now how to derive the fresh air requirement that i will be needing a x amount of fresh air in cfm or liter per second depends on your ventilation calculation which you have obtained from the heat load calculation or depending on your ashray 62.1 requirement based on the cfm or liter per second per person or and the area wise there are additional requirements if the coil is a chill water as i explained before for any chill water coil you also need these two essential requirements which will be entering water temperature and the leaving water temperature of the coil so this will be the coil temperature or the coil water temperatures coming from the any type of chiller if you are using it in a chill water system for chillers this is the essential parameter or one is one of the additional parameters which is required for any selection of chill water type 100% fresh air handling unit thank you very much viewers